Jobs and welcome to Propaganda Com 416. Uh, this semester we're going to be studying all aspects of the topic of propaganda and here I am uh, kind of far out in the woods. You'd think I'd be away from propaganda, but no, actually propaganda follows me everywhere. On my cell phone, uh, in my, the music I listen to, in the entertainment I enjoy. Uh, and in fact, um, like many of you, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with propaganda. I've just written a new book about propaganda called Mind Over Media, Propaganda Education in a Digital Age, and I'm looking forward to sharing some of my insights from that book with you. Uh, one thing's kind of important to know, this class isn't like uh, the typical Sakai-based class where you read a bunch of things and participate in some threaded discussions and that's it. Uh, actually, we're going to not be using Sakai, uh, but in using some new kinds of digital tools and technologies because it's my uh, goal to help you develop the competencies you need to uh, be an effective communicator uh, in a digital age. So you'll be developing some digital literacy competencies along with gaining knowledge about past, present, and future of propaganda. Okay, one of the things that I like best about uh, teaching online is that learning can happen anywhere. And uh, that means this semester uh, I'll be uh, learning with you while I'm in uh, Tel Aviv, Israel, and in uh, Croatia, and of course while I'm right here in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, so let's get started. When, um, when you got the email from me, you got, um, you got a invitation code that said join the path right and you uh, created an account and you registered and you came uh, right here and found the introductory video right which you're watching right now um, what what this uh, system allows you to do basically is um, move through the activities of the learning experience um, sort of step by step. So um, first things first, take the uh, five item opinion survey when you're completed with it. Uh, start here and uh, fi answer five questions. You complete when you're done with that, you complete this step and then it will basically move you on to the next uh, step, right? Of course, I'm really excited for you to take a close look at the syllabus, which you can download as a PDF here, or you can read online here. One of the things that's really important to know about me is that I am a lifelong learner, um, and I am absolutely fascinated about the topic of uh, propaganda. That's the title of my new book. It's coming out next year. Um, in terms of contact information, really and truly the best way to reach me is on Twitter. Um, I'm going to hope you're going to be on Twitter this semester too uh, as a way for us to practice using our uh, powerful uh, communication, public communication identities. Um, in general, I'll be available to you uh, Mondays, uh, either face-to-face -face in Davis Hall or uh, right this way through our video conference. Um, you know why you're taking this course. Uh, for one reason or another, propaganda is absolutely everywhere. And propaganda raises ethical questions that are relevant to both authors and audiences and about the consequences of communication. So um, it was really hard and challenging to identify the uh, focus of topics this semester but I've identified these 12 topics uh, and you can see them uh, pretty carefully here. Uh, each of these topics could be topics we could spend a whole semester on. Um, but I guess one thing that's important to know about this course is that um, this course is really practical, right? Um, the kinds of activities that you'll be doing in this class are going to be uh, valuable to your uh, careers uh, as uh, effective communicators. Um, and regardless of your skill set, uh, these are the kinds of outcomes that we're going to try to uh, accomplish this semester. You're going to gain some knowledge and skills. You're going to practice creating media as a way to learn. And you're going to get time to reflect and appreciate the power 
and ethical dimensions of, of uh, propaganda. Uh, there are a bunch of required readings. Two require some purchases, uh, the Eddie Bernays book and the Ryan Holiday book. The excerpts from my forthcoming book I'll be presenting to you uh, free online. And the um, students of Adolphus Gustavus College uh, in um, Minnesota, uh, we're going to be reading some of their work, and that's available online too. As I mentioned, the primary platform that we're using is this platform we're, I'm showing you right now called um, Pathright. But we're also going to be using another website called Notion. And I want to take you there and show that to you at this moment. Right? Notion is a really interesting platform. It's like a wiki. It's very simple and easy to use. Um, I hope that you get a chance to put yourself down, put your add your name and photo to our participant list, right? Um, take a look at the media gallery with some of the videos that we'll be watching this semester. Um, if you're thinking about uh, what questions you have about uh, propaganda, this is a good place uh, to put them, and we'll be learning more about how to do that l later. All the details about the learning activities are here. The um, projects and social learning, these are the activities we're going to be learning about. There's a very convenient calendar, which you can look at uh, in a number of different ways to see when stuff is due. The most important thing we're going to be doing here is putting our all our work here. So we're going to practice being public communicators and kind of collaboratively construct uh, our knowledge together about the topic of propaganda. So the Notion Wiki is a really important place because you'll be submitting your assignments on this platform and uh, looking at uh, looking at the work of each other. I mentioned how we'll be using Twitter as well as Zoom and Flipgrid for um, social learning and some other tools as well. I'll be posting the grades on the Sakai grade calculator, which I'm sure is familiar to many of you. Here's the assignments that are coming up for this course. Um, the course is based on a thousand point system. Social learning counts for 200 points. These are activities that you complete on the path right right and video chat activities that we'll do uh, a few times during the semester um, so you're expected to participate either synchronously or asynchronously to uh, those uh, assignments and activities you'll be completing two kind of projects uh, which I call learning activities. You'll be creating your own propaganda and you'll be taking an example of uh, mm -hmm. propaganda and doing a deep contextual analysis. And you can see those two assignments are worth uh, 400 points. The most important thing uh, that you'll be doing this semester is your own inquiry learning project. That's the cycle of activities that involves you in becoming an expert on a particular topic of interest to you. So you'll be moving through a three-part process where you'll gain knowledge and expertise and you'll create some media to showcase what you learn. Um, you can see six times during the semester we'll have video chats. These can be either synchronous in real time where we talk uh, using video at the same time and uh, we're in different locations, of course, but we're all talking for one hour. Or you can participate through an asynchronous platform using Flipgrid, where you contribute to that conversation anytime uh, you like by a certain deadline. So you can see that we have a, a set of video chat assignments that are due at different points during the semester. That's part of your social learning. We spend the beginning of the semester with the two learning activities of creating propaganda and putting propaganda in context. And then we launch into the inquiry project. First, you'll generate a whole bunch of interesting questions. Then you'll practice gathering information and doing digital annotation activities. And then finally, you'll put it all together into a final project. 
So as I mentioned, this course does develop your digital literacy competencies, and that is a special opportunity and challenge for you. Um, it's based on these three principles, right? That as online learners, we're not doing this solo, we're part of a community and we collaborate with each other. That we create media as a way to demonstrate what we're learning and that we take time to reflect on what we're learning and to change our minds and to second guess ourselves and to question our own assumptions and values. So um, part of the reason why we're not using Sakai is based on this powerful theory, right? That um, what I'm trying to do is help you accomplish, help you develop skills that will directly transfer to your career, right? In the real world, nobody uses Sakai, right? <laughs> but uh, they use a lot of other digital tools. And so we'll practice using those this semester. Now, it's true that people come into this class with different levels of technology competencies, but you shouldn't be nervous about that. We don't all begin this course with the same kinds of levels of skills. So you are going to be able to learn from each other and be able to help each other in your learning curve, right? So the other course policies I'd like you to uh, read on your own. Um, and then uh, let me take you through the next set of activities about buying books for this course. That's a good thing. Get those books on Amazon. Um, this is a kind of review of the three types of activities, the learning activities, the inquiry project, the social learning, and the due dates. That's just a kind of a reminder. You can toggle in between those to get reminders about that. So this is kind of just making sure you understand the um, the practices that that this course involves and now I'd like you to do some work for our next meeting read the excerpt below and follow the instructions right um, so you can you see you can use up here this introduction to the course you can use these little um, circles here to move through um, but when you click on the button complete step that tells me that you've done the actual project um, so do visit the gallery select one video to watch take notes on key ideas and use the space below the video to comment on something interesting so you can see I've given you a, a selection of videos to get started uh, choose one uh, why you can never argue with a conspiracy theory perhaps below here you once you're logged into notion i think you have to open it as a page you should be able to comment uh here uh below the space uh, i'll open that up so that's available to you to comment um uh, once you have a notion account right um okay so i feel like i'm almost i've almost summarized absolutely everything uh, let's talk a little bit about your use of Twitter this semester. Twitter is a really powerful tool for research and communication, and there's lots of Twitter experts who are talking about propaganda these days. So uh, you might just want to use your existing Twitter account, or you might want to create a new account just for this class. But your assignment for this week is to find at least 25 people to follow. And if you're trying to figure out who those are, you might look at my list of Twitter experts right um so there's my list of twitter experts these are folks i'm i i'm learning from as i'm learning about propaganda if you look on the list here you can see uh some of these people are people you might be interested in following right um okay so um, after you've got your 25 twitter experts um Put on your calendar uh, Thursday, September 12th at 12 p.m. If you'd like to join us for a live conversation, you click here to link to the Zoom. It's a pretty much a one-click process. In our meeting, we're going to, I'd like you to be prepared to answer these five questions. Uh, if you are unable to join us on Thursday, September 12th at 12 p.m. using your laptop or cell phone 
or even by joining by video or voice, then I'd like you to join the asynchronous video chat and contribute an introductory video before Friday, September 13th at midnight. Some of you have used uh, uh, Flipgrid before. It's pretty easy. You click on the blue button to get started. Uh, you log in. Uh, yes, you do. You log in and you uh, you get you get started by simply um, by simply um, uh, pressing that green button. You have about five minutes. It's an asynchronous video platform that enables people to interact with each other anytime and any place. Since we don't have real time interaction on Flipgrid, I'd like to ask you to watch at least one or two of the um, members of your class and then comment on their um, comment on their uh, work. So you can see that this uh, introduction allows you to um, complete all the all my expectations for you uh, to complete these activities before September 13th. Every uh, so, so often uh, I will of course unlock the next module and you'll be able to move through that module as well. I hope this introduction has given you a good uh, overview to um, what you can expect for the course. It's just a quick 15 minutes, but I think you got the concept. And of course, I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the Zoom or the Flip Kit. See you later. Bye now. Yeah. Okay, that was fun.